guys, it's Wendy from Cotton Candy Corner. Today I have North American animals. Can you tell me what is your favorite animal today? White-tailed deer. The antlers on this white male deer consist of forward curving main beam from which a single points project. One in every thousand females also have simple antlers. In North America, the white-tailed deer is the most widely distributed. A female deer is called a doe. When the doe leaves her fawn unattended for hours at a time, the fawn remains bedded and the natural camouflage of its spotted coat conceals it from predators. The abundant food in the forested areas are suitable for white-tailed deer during the summer, but as the snow comes, the deer will concentrate on areas that provide shelter and food from storms and the deep snow. A baby deer is called a fawn. Marmot. They are like large ground squirrels in the genus Marmota. There are 15 species living in Asia, Europe, and North America. Squirrels are a family that includes small or medium-sized rodents. The most common type is the tree squirrel, often seen scampering and leaping from branch to branch. Otter. They are carnivorous. They are in the subfamily Lutrinae. Their diet consists of fish and invertebrates. Otters are semi-aquatic, aquatic or marine. Badger. They are short-legged omnivores. They are found in various parts of the world. Their large and heavy claws on their forefeet are used to dig for food and construct underground dens. Red Fox. They live around the world in many diverse habitats, including grasslands, mountains, deserts, and forests. These wild animals learn to thrive near large populations of people. These fox hunt at night. White Wolf. They're often called Polar Wolf or Arctic Wolf. Gray Wolf or Timber Wolf. They are canines. They are the largest member of the dog family. They inhabit vast areas of the Northern Hemisphere. Canada has the second largest gray wolf population in the world after Russia. They are highly social animals. Subscribe to Cotton Candy Corner for more animal videos and turn on notifications. The American Black Bear. It's a medium-sized bear in North America. Breeding season begins in May. Both male and female bears may spend days courting each other. She only allows a male to mount her when she is most receptive. Copulation normally lasts 20 to 30 minutes. The male's responsibility ends with copulation. Only the female raises the offspring. Grizzly bear. They once were numerous. They ranged across North America from California to the Great Plains, and from Mexico up to Alaska. Grizzly bears survive only in undisturbed areas. Polar bears' home is on the Arctic ice, where they can hunt seals from a platform of ice. Bears are found in Alaska, Canada, Greenland, Russia, and Norway. Do you have a favorite bear? Leave a comment below. Males walk at a pace of 5 to 6 kilometers per hour. Females with small cubs walk about 2.5 to 4 kilometers per hour. Grizzly cubs stay under their mother's care for 2 to 3 years. They are a symbol of Canadian wilderness, the grizzly bear. Black bear cubs, they grow very quickly. They can weigh 80 pounds by the time they are 1 year old. Subscribe to Cotton Candy Corner and turn on notifications. Elk. They're also known as Wapiti. Wapiti is a Native American word that means light-colored deer. They are one of the largest species of the deer family. Elk and moose have similar tracks. Moose have a more heart-shaped track and elk have a more tooth-shaped track. Elk. They're currently native to North America and Eastern Asia. It had a much wider distribution in the past. 
moose. They are the largest members of the deer family. They stand six feet tall from hoof to shoulder, and they weigh more than 1,000 pounds. A female moose is called a cow. Their most common predator are wolves, bears, and humans. They are herbivores. A moose's diet consists of both terrestrial and aquatic vegetation. In the summer, a moose will eat leaves, some upland plants, water plants, in great quantity where available. A large moose may eat from 15 to 20 kilograms of green weight each day in the winter. They are so tall that they have difficulty bending down to eat. The word moose comes from the Algonquin, the term meaning eater of twigs. Hey guys, subscribe to Cotton Candy Corner and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video. Polar bears can gallop as fast as a horse. A walking bear can use 13 times more energy than a bear that is resting, which is probably why they prefer still hunting, waiting patiently for a seal to surface at a breathing hole on the sea ice. Grizzly bears they begin to look for mates in the spring and early summer. The females mate with more than one male during her breeding season. Copulation takes place only when the female is ready. A male bear encounters a female bear at the right time and they copulate immediately. The three species of bears that inhabit North America, polar bear, brown bear, also known as grizzly, and black bear. If you do see a bear, keep at safe distance. Never let bears get into birdseed, garbage, or other human food. We need to give bears plenty of space to live and find their own healthy, natural foods. American bison, or simply known as buffalo. They once roamed the plains of North America. They lived in vast herds. They are a large hoofed mammal, or ungulate. They inhabit the plains of the United States and Canada. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Click on a picture to watch another video from Cotton Candy Corner. See you in my next video. Bye.